It has been two months since I last posted and I did not mean for it to take that long so I'm so sorry. As much as you think that I may have my life together, I am so all over the place. Maybe you could tell actually that I don't have my life together at all. I just never knew what I wanted and I felt so out of place especially because we moved into this new beautiful city we moved to chicago about four months ago and for the first two months we had no furniture we started fresh we only really had our personal belongings but yeah it took forever to get a bed a couch some chairs up in here but we didn't want to you know blow all our money on temporary things we wanted some furniture that would last us a long time anyways since we started new and in a new city we knew how to get around the city but it was still so overwhelming and we didn't have a routine at all i mean we still kind of don't our sleeping schedule is all over the place but for the most part we have it down we feel adjusted we have furniture now everything has its place here we have some friends i have some family here augie has his stuff his groomer his bed we have been consistently going to the gym for 50 days and so much more that i can't think of on the top of my head but we're pretty much adjusted and um, can finally call this beautiful city home for social media being my job in these last two months that i haven't been on youtube i've still been on instagram been on TikTok, but for whatever reason, I've just been struggling with YouTube. And I think the reason for that is it's just, I feel like YouTube is so intimate. Like right now, for the next, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, however long this video is, it's really just you and I. And it's pretty crazy. You came up with this realization not too long ago, but, but for those of you that watch couples on YouTube, how many do you actually know as individuals, as separate individual people away from whoever their partner is. I can't really name one. So for me, I think I was just assuming that those of you who knew me from my old YouTube account would just know me. But to have this career and have a YouTube channel that you have to pretty much put your life out there, I have to be vulnerable and I have to let you guys into my life so that you can relate or that you can feel safe or whatever the case may be and that is so scary but I want it, I want that, I want for you to feel connected and for you to feel like I'm your friend and that you have someone. And I also think that subconsciously I was... Oops. My bad. Subconsciously, I was holding myself back from growing because I didn't want to do all the other things that came with this job alone. I tend to neglect my needs or wants, not on purpose, but I just am the person that feels like I'm the caretaker and I need to tend to others first for myself. If it's relationships, friendships, family, whatever the case is, I want to be that person. Um, and it's fine if you have a balance but I did not have that balance. I would just put everything into others and not to myself. But with communication with my beautiful girlfriend, I am now pushing myself to tend to myself first so that I can not only love myself better, but those around me, of course, you've heard that quote so many times, you can't love anyone if you can't love yourself. But I finally been putting it to practice. And I am now going to an event alone. I am going to LA this weekend for a Latinx TikTok creator event. And <laughs> I'm so scared. I haven't been to an event in three years. And the last time I did, I wasn't alone. I'm a little terrified, but I'm finally ready to just let go, not be afraid of the opportunities that this world has for me. If you're wondering why Alex won't come, I want this to be separate from our relationship and she knows that. Of course she doesn't want it either way but yeah I can't uh, get used to her being there and depend on her and I'm just not gonna grow that way. So I will be going to events alone. Yeah I'm super nervous but super excited. Sorry I just rambled but I've, I've been absent for two months so I have to update you. Let's get back into this vlog. It's too early. I think I only had like five hours of sleep. 
So today it was a babysitting day. I babysit uh, or puppy sit this little puppy so that Augie can have a friend. And Alex is a accidental babysitter for this little boy. We're not gonna show that because he's a little kid. But yeah, that was pretty much all our morning. We I had to wake up at 7 a.m. and Alex actually woke up with me, which woo, cause she hates waking up, she hates mornings, but who doesn't? That was our whole morning is now like six o'clock sun is setting we're gonna try out these treats i'm actually super excited i got sent the this box from try treats and i turned alex into a snack person she would never really eat like too much junk food or snacks and i changed her life <laughs> they reached out to me and their uh, subscription box sends you a box every month of different uh, snacks around the world this Free boxes from the United Kingdom. It gives you a little, <laughs> a little sheet of what you got, a little facts about the place, and a little postcard. I think that's the cutest thing. <laughs> so now we have a postcard from the United Kingdom. I'm gonna try this out. It'll be on my TikTok. If you want to try it out too, I feel like it's a fun little date, cute little thing to do. Try treats with your partner, or if you're by yourself and you just want to eat. Uh, I have. <laughs> A code for 15% off, uh, Tatiana Mendoza. It'll be in my description box as well. I'm ready. We just finished um, trying all these treats, and this is our favorite one. It's just, look at this. <laughs> a super thick, premium potato chip that's cheddar and sour cream. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just spring. sure. Cheddar and spring onion. It is a delight. It is a high quality chip, and we're gonna finish this bag. But now for the rest of this day, we need to clean up. Since we have puppy and a child in here, we have to clean up. Go to the gym. Because oh. if you didn't know, we have been doing 75 hard. Soft. I mean, 75 <laughs> soft. The way easier version, modified version of 75 hard. And if you don't know what that is, working out two times a day. One inside, one outside. No drinking alcohol. Uh, reading a book. All these rules. We were like, that's unrealistic for us so we're just gonna try working out for 75 days straight we have been it's now day 51 we've still been having our drinks here and there because we moved to a new city we don't want to we just want to casually drink whenever we're out at dinner or something like that go out then i need to start meal prepping because since i'm leaving this hooligan alone she doesn't know how to cook and yeah i just like knowing that she's gonna eat good and she doesn't have to go and door dash everything. I just finished with the gym. No arm day. Today wasn't an arm day, but man, am I growing. I'm still very small. Bigger than I was before, so that's good. This is like our stretching area. We have like three separate gyms, the machines, the weights, and then this area. And there's kind of a lot of people in the gym today. It's one thing to film in the gym. It's another thing to film in a gym. And it's someone's home too. It's not just my apartment. It's uh, everyone else's, so gotta be mindful. <sighs> but I feel good. Today was leg day and I've said it a million times. I have chicken legs. I'm very, very insecure about my legs. I will put some pictures right here. Like they're, they're still small, but I cannot believe how much smaller they were before. <sighs> and sometimes I get discouraged and I'm just like, why aren't they growing? I want them to just be like big in a flash but i gotta be patient tomorrow i have to wake up and get a haircut um if you couldn't tell i'm growing it out i told myself i wasn't going to cut my hair for the whole 75 days of this challenge but someday i'm going to an event i don't want to be all scraggly i need some layers just because if i were to put my hair all forward it's literally like the same length so i need some layers in i'm gonna get a taper and hopefully she doesn't take too much off i'll see you in the morning this is the before beautiful and let's go into the after and here is my haircut a little 360. It is shorter than I would have liked it to be, but I did want layers. It still has some length on top. More cut off on the side than I wanted, but it's all good. I still need to clean it up a little bit because I don't know why she didn't 
crisp it up but it is now 12 40 at night and i leave in four hours we didn't really go out and do anything else augie besides going out to get my hair cut yeah we woke up a little bit early for that came back and took a nap no matter how early we wake up we just we just need sleep. I think we're just night owls. After we woke up, we just cleaned the entire place, mopped. We just got back from the gym. Let's go, look at this. And uh, now I need to hurry up and pack, which I only really need an outfit for the event. I don't really care about dressing up for anything else. I'm only gonna be there for like two days. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. And I know everyone is probably gonna dress up super nice go all out maybe it's casual i don't know but i feel like i'm getting ready for the first day of school so i'm scared it is now 1 20. i'm not gonna do any makeup but i am gonna moisturize like crazy because traveling and going on planes sucks you dry so i'm gonna load it up right now i'm totally blanking on what to bring so i'm cheating and watching my get ready with me so that i can bring everything because yeah i'm sure i'm stressed out right now now we're packing and i have no idea what to do i wear these pants all the time they're my favorite pants but i'm not sure if that's the vibe but i feel like i need to have a really cool outfit that people like me because i want to be like i like you <laughs> i love you I have no idea what to wear. I think it's gonna be like 80. I like dressing in um, warmer clothes better. Bye bye. My hair just doesn't go forward anymore. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it classy. So hopefully my nipples are showing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it classy, wear this tight shirt. I feel like I'm the most confident in it because I feel sexy and strong. And then I am gonna have this over shirt cropped. I have the option of these two pants. I made a video about them on my TikTok. They're my absolute favorite pants now from Uniqlo. They're kind of like dressier. They're called smart ankle pants, but they fit me good. My butt looks good. And I'm just super comfortable in them. But yeah, I'm gonna bring those two. I have all these options right here. I'll put all the pictures that we just took. I have a whole day with my family, so I'm just gonna give them a fas fashion show and they can tell me what outfit is best. I have these two shoes. These are very like New York fashion shoes, I would say. They even have the New York logo on it. But I feel like not a lot of people in California wear these shoes. Yeah, I feel like they're just really cool. I want my shoe game to also be good, pop in. I just want to be liked, okay? And yeah. That's all I'm gonna really pack. And hopefully I don't overthink and I like it on Saturday and I don't regret my decision. But now it is 2.18 and I leave in two hours and 30 minutes, or two hours, so. It is very cold over here and on the plane. So I'm gonna wear a sweater. I think I'm gonna wear a hat just cause I don't want it to get smushed in my backpack or carry on, so wearing a hat. I forgot how much I hated LAX and how to get to the lift area or like Uber area. You have to take a whole ass shuttle. The airport is so freaking confusing, they're doing so much construction. I slept on the flight, but the that were on the left of me. The lady never closed her sh her blind, her shade, and the sun was piercing into my eyeball. Yeah, that was fun. But I'm waiting for my lift. I'm gonna go meet up with my brother, and I'm very tired. I only slept like three hours. Hello. Let's go. Ew. She yeah. didn't make it good. We're at Starbucks and we had nothing. They had no whipped cream, no cold foam, no vanilla, no syrups. So, we're so just never work. come here ever. <laughs> but we got, what did I get? A caramel macchiato. Back to my roots. We're here um, because my brother is 
What is wrong with my voice? My brother is lifting. My brother, he's a trainer at Self Made Gym in Redlands. He has a lifting competition today, so while I'm here, I'm gonna support him and yeah, let's see how good he does. had to voice over this part because it was so loud in there but he lifted 500 or dead lifted 501 pounds that was crazy great job Milo. love you very much and then we were on our way to the event i was so nervous but dang i look kind of good not gonna lie <laughs> and now i'm back home and i was too scared to film anything else um right after the competition we went straight to the event i didn't even have any time to get ready i changed in the car and yeah, as you, ugh, there's something in my eye. As you guys saw, I was nervous. I'm scared enough as it is to film in public, but in front of other creators, oof. Did a little voiceover on TikTok, but I literally had nothing to be nervous about though. I had so much fun, met so many amazing people, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. And yeah, I wouldn't be here without any of you. You guys did that. That. That's because of you. So thank you. I love you. And I'm already filming the next video, so don't worry. I won't lag. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.